Transformers and couple inductors are key components in many switching regulator designs to include flyback, forward, and sepic topologies. These transformers perform critical functions in providing an isolation barrier, enabling high step downs or step up ratios, and accommodating multiple or inverting outputs. Although it is possible to make a dedicated subcircuit for a specific transformer, LT SPICE's preferred method is to define a separate inductor for each transformer winding and then couple them all together magnetically via a single mutual inductance statement. Welcome to Using Transformers in LT SPICE 4 video. I am your host, Gabino Alonso. This video will provide an overview on how to create transformers in LT SPICE 4. I will demonstrate how to define a transformer using inductors, specify the mutual inductance via a case statement, and lastly show how to add additional windings to a simulation. To draw a transformer, we need to define each of the windings of the transformer using an inductor symbol. So let's go ahead and place two inductors side by side in our schematic. If we want to see the phase dot of these inductors, we can right click on the inductor symbol, check show phase dot, click OK. And we can then also reorientate and move and position these as we need to in our schematic by using the rotate and or mirror command to lay things out the way we want in terms of the phase dot. We may also need to go ahead and move some of these uh, symbols and uh, values around just to kind of line things up a little bit. And once we've done that, we can now then place it in the slot I've already pre-drawn here before for the uh, transformer. When coupled inductors are used as transformer windings, individual winding inductances rather than the turns ratio need to be specified. Therefore, the inductance ratio needs to be set to be proportional to the square of the turns ratio. So let's say in our example we want a 1 to 3 turns ratio. We square that, we get a 1 to 9 inductance ratio, which now allows us to go ahead and select 1 micro Henry and 9 micro Henrys for our two values of inductance for this transformer. Likewise, if the primary is modeled with, say, 16 microhenries, and the secondary is modeled with 1 microhenry, we can now view that as a 4 to 1 uh, turns ratio by taking the square root of the inductance ratio. Once you have drawn and defined each transformer winding as an inductor, with the appropriate inductance ratio, the next step is to include a mutual inductance statement. Mutual inductance is designated in SPICE by beginning the first word of a new line with the letter K. To specify the mutual inductance ratio for the inductors we have defined, we need to insert a SPICE directive into our diagram. So let's go and click the dot op command on the menu. And again, as I mentioned before, the first uh, label on this new line will be K. And then we need to define the inductors that we're using to simulate the uh, transformer, so L1, in our case, L2. And the last entry in the case statement is the mutual coupling coefficient. This is on a scale from 0 to 1, where 1 means perfect coupling between the inductors, in other words, no leakage inductance. Since leakage uh, is usually not desired in a practical circuit, it's easier and, and truly sufficient to ignore leakage inductance by setting the value to 1 especially for your initial simulations, and then you can vary off from that if need be. Once we click OK, we can now place that on our schematic, and at this point we have completed modeling our transformer. Likewise, case statements can also be used to model coupled inductors. Here's an example simulation file using the LT3757 in a SEPIC topology, and you notice that the two inductors, L1 and L2, are coupled using a mutual inductance statement, K1. When you have a transformer with more than one primary or more than one secondary winding, you have to make sure that all mutual inductances are included in the case statements. Consider this schematic with three windings, L1, L2, L3, where the inductance ratios shown are proportional to the square of the turns ratio. A transformer with, such, with these three windings will usually have three mutual inductance statements, K1, K2, and K3. 
Entering all these inductor names by hand to generate these individual statements is a bit tedious. A better approach is to use a single case statement in which you define all the inductors that are wound on the same core. LT Spice interprets this statement to mean that all these inductors are coupled to each other by the same mutual coupling coefficient. Therefore, with a single statement, we can easily define a transformer with three or more windings. Here's an example simulation file that uses a transformer with three windings in a design of an offline, isolated, flyback lead controller. The third winding in this example senses the output voltage and also supplies power to the LT3799 in steady state operation. Notice that each winding of the transformer is drawn using an individual inductor where the inductance is proportional to the square of the turns ratio and that all the mutual inductances for these windings are all defined using a single simple case statement. To download LT Spice 4 or obtain more documentation on modeling transformers, please visit us today at www.linear.com forward slash LT Spice. Happy simulations.